Hey everyone, you're back with Jono for another quick math lesson. Today we're going to look at completing the square again, but what happens if there's an odd number in the middle? So if you haven't done the completing the square kind of first introduction video, please go back and have a look at that just to make sure that you're on top of the steps because we're just going to breeze through. So we do still have to halve and square the middle number. That is what we're doing. But if you've got an odd number like nine, the half becomes four and a half and then it gets all confusing. So really, it's the same process, it's just gonna look heaps worse, okay? Your page isn't gonna be pretty, so just working it out nice and slowly, taking some time when you're setting out, will make this process pretty cruisy. You do have two options when you do these. So you can use whole numbers or fractions. Your teacher's probably gonna tell you which one to use. I think fractions are more like generally accepted as more correct, but see which one your teacher uses, and if one makes more sense to you, or I can just use that. So for this first example, we're just gonna use whole numbers to see if that kind of makes sense, all right? The first steps are all exactly the same, just the numbers you get are gonna be a little bit more annoying. So for this first one, we still have to divide nine and then square it. So half of nine is 4.5, and we have to square that to get the term that we're adding and subtracting. If you throw that into your calculator, it's gonna be 20.25. So, my first step is to make this perfect square and subtract it straight away. So I've got x squared plus 9x plus 20.25 minus 20.25 minus 4. Okay, so that step's exactly the same, but instead of being able to do it in your head, which I'm sure you've been able to do for the uh, even numbers, just throw it in your calculator. Now you've got to write this whole first bit as a perfect square. You might be thinking, well, I've got no idea what 20.25, the square root of it is. Don't stress, it's always half of this middle term. All right, so whatever this number is, what you've halved and then squared, that's what goes into this x plus 4.5 squared. That is the perfect square. Because remember, the perfect square is 2ab in the middle, so that's all you've got to do. Then we have to simplify this last bit, which is minus 24.25. Then because we've got two squares, right, and there's a negative sign in between, we can use the difference of two squares. So here we've got x plus 4.5, x plus 4.5. Then we have to add and subtract the square root of that last number. So this is plus the square root of 24.25, and this is minus the square root of 24.25. And that is good enough. Okay, that's fully simplified. But if your teacher does tell you that you've got to use fractions, it can look a little bit more confusing, but the answer we're gonna get comes out a little bit nicer at the end. So here we've got the exact same thing. We've got to half this seven and square it. So for here, we've got x squared minus 7x plus our 7 over 2 squared. So instead of working it out, because we're just writing the fraction, we can half 7 and square it. That's all we've got to do. We've got to minus this off as well, and then minus this final 13. This again is going to be a perfect square. We've got a perfect square here in the middle, and it's just half of this number. So it's whatever's in the bracket. This is what we've got to write down. So for this next step of working, we've got x minus seven over two, all squared. All right, for this next bit, you do have to use your calculator, but you've got to put seven over two squared minus 13 straight in, and that simplifies down to 101 over four. All right, so once we're at this step, you're kind of laughing because we do again have this difference of two squares, so we just have to write it out twice. The first bracket is the x minus seven over two. The second bracket has the exact same thing to start off. Then we have to add on the square root of the last bit, so plus 101 over four, and minus the square root of 101 over four. You might be asked to simplify that further if you've been doing quite a bit of work with thirds, but if not, that is your final answer. Thanks so much guys, and I'll see you later. 
Thanks so much for watching guys. Congratulations on taking some time to get better at this algebra. I know it can be a little bit difficult sometimes. If you do need some extra work, remember there are some free worksheets linked in the description below, as well as the notes that came from this video, so you don't have to pause it and scribble them down. If you do get a second, please like and subscribe to the channel because there'll be new maths videos coming out every couple of days. Thanks so much. Have a good one.